like if you are parallel parenting with a narcissistic person. Remember, this narcissistic person that you are parallel parenting with knows your weaknesses, they know your vulnerabilities from having been with you. They know what makes you tick, what makes you upset, how to get to you, and how to get you flustered. My name is Lise Colucci, and I'm here, as always, to talk to you about healing from understanding and transforming your life after narcissistic people have been in it. So if you're parallel parenting and this narcissistic person is forever pushing your buttons, if they are forever going after the little things that they know will frustrate you, or, or if you have situations where you think, gosh, they know how to pounce when times get stressful, guess what? They are most likely behind the scenes creating the stress, okay? They are havoc monsters. They come into your life and they create a world of havoc that then adds stress after stress after stress after stress. And then they say the one thing, the one thing that will trigger you into reaction. Or they come after you in a million different ways and then stand there and look like they're the calm ones. So remember, if you are parallel parenting with them, to really disengage from the emotional attacks that they are forming against you to see them for what they are and simply step back. Do not allow those attacks, those criticisms, the words that they use, anything that feels like it gets under your skin to get under your skin when it comes to them, okay? Because they're doing it on purpose. They're doing this to control the situation, to alienate you from your children, to create situations where you look like a bad parent, to create situations where you look like you can't function in life, like you can't handle things, like basically they're taking you to your darkest place where they took you in the relationship, only now they're doing it by triangulating in your children, okay? And your role as a parent, all right? So they are forever trying to diminish your role and take you down so that you have no validity in your children's lives and so that the world around you sees you as an incompetent parent. And the reason they're doing this is so that they can look like they're the ones with competence. So they're the ones that the children turn to. What does a narcissist want more than a minion? They want the children to be under their spell, okay? They want the world to see them as the good one and you as the bad one. They cannot work together. There is no such thing as co-parenting with a narcissist. It is I have never seen it possible. I'm sure there are some levels of it that can happen because narcissism is on a spectrum. And of course, there can be levels of manipulations that happen and people can deal with it in different ways. But most of the time, most of the time, these people are trying deliberately to undermine you, to counterparent you, to cause you to have stress so that you cannot feel okay in your life. All of that gives them masses of supply. You have rejected them as a, as a person in your life and you are trying to live your life with your children while you have your children and simply be a good parent. They are trying to undermine that at every turn, okay? So do not let them by allowing them to get to, get to you. Know what your buttons are. Know where your vulnerabilities are. Know the things that they know about you. Be really aware of the things you believe about yourself that they will throw back at you as a weapon, all right? So if you have any beliefs about yourself that they're aware of that they can use against you, believe me, they will. So if you're aware that that's what they're doing, it kind of takes it down to a level of absurdity because you can see oh, they're just throwing my weaknesses at me. They're throwing my vulnerabilities at me. They're throwing my negative self-beliefs or my insecurities at me. Oh, okay, that's what they're doing. Well, so then what can you do from there? You can go completely low contact with that. You can go as gray rock as gray rock gets with that. You can dismiss it, okay? And then you can get help. If you need to talk to someone, please reach out to anyone that you think is supportive in your life. If you need help, check out the information in the main description of the video. There is a link to a peer support group there for narcissistic abuse recovery. If you join that, let me know you saw it on this video. I'll let you straight in the group, okay? And there's also information there for coaching and for group coaching. 
group coaching is a great place for this because of how often these things reoccur. It can really help you get some grounding in how to, for you, function without letting this narcissistic person affect you so badly, okay? So if you need it, it's there. Please check it out. Um, yeah, I will also put a link in this video description of a Facebook group for co-parenting and parallel parenting with narcissistic people. So if you need it, it's there. You guys hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I will see you next time.